Hello viewers this time i am going to discuss on whereabouts of mucormycosis which is popularly known as black fungus let's move forward fungal infections can be devastating mucormycosis previously called zygomycosis is a serious but rare fungal infection caused by a group of molds called mucormycetes these molds live throughout the environment the first case of mucormycosis in human was described by german physician fredrik kuchenmeister in 1855 this disease attacks the blood vessels and infects them and kills the tissue by strangulating the blood supply the dead tissue appears black hence the name black fungus types of mucormycosis are five types rhino cerebral sinus and brain pulmonary lung gastrointestinal intestinal tract cutaneous skin disseminated rhino cerebral mucormycosis is an infection in the sinuses that can spread to the brain this form of mucormycosis is most common in people with diabetes and in people who have had a kidney transplant it is causing by inhaling spores pulmonary mucormycosis is common in people with cancer and in people who have had an organ transplant or a stem cell transplant gastrointestinal mucormycosis is more common among young children than adults especially premature and low birth weight infants less than 1 month of age who have had antibiotics surgery or medicines that lower the body is ability to fight germs and sickness cutaneous mucormycosis occurs after the fungus enter the body through a break in the skin especially skin trauma disseminated mucormycosis occurs when the infection spreads through the blood stream to affect another part of the body here are few signs and symptoms identified which help to diagnose the fungus there are pains redness or stuffiness around eyes and nose one sided facial pain intense headache blackish appearance in oral cavity and exposed jaw foul smelling nasal discharge fever and coughing shortness of breath blood vomiting bulging painful or frozen eye movement or blindness altered mental state diagnosis healthcare providers consider patient's medical history symptoms physical examination and laboratory tests while diagnosing mucormycosis they may also collect sample of fluids and send to laboratory in case they suspect presence of mucormycosis in lungs or sinuses they may perform tissue biopsy by collecting small sample of affected tissue to analyze in a laboratory for evidence of mucormycosis under a microscope or in a fungal culture it may also require imaging tests such as ct scan or lungs sinuses or other parts of body depending on the location of suspected infection mycomycosis is a serious infection and needs to be treated with prescription antifungal medicine usually amphotericin b posaconazole or isa buconazole these medicines are given through a vein that is intravenous treatment is needed often mycomycosis requires surgery to cut away the infected tissue possible risk the infection can be happening to anyone at any age but one is more likely to get sick if they have a weakened immune system because of a medication or poor health condition such as uncontrolled diabetes which deplete immune response hiv or aids causes immune deficiency blood cancer and chemotherapy patient organ transplant or stem cell transplant need to take immunosuppression medicine very low white blood cell count inability to fight infections long term and high dose steroid use as steroid increase blood sugar level and cause immune suppression steroid use in covid-19 treatment high levels of iron in the body hemochromatosis and poor nutrition mycomycosis on covid-19 patients covid-19 associated mucormycosis is less common than other covid-19 associated fungal infections 
but emerging reports from india highlights the importance of considering this infection this could be due to the fact that india is the diabetes capital of the world diabetes was seen in 40% of the cases of black fungus published in the scientific journal 2002-2017 in the recent search 94% of the people who developed black fungus after covid had diabetes and 67% of them had uncontrolled sugar levels in the current pandemic diabetes and subsequent treatments by steroids create a perfect opportunity for mucormycosis to thrive in the resultant acidic environment use of immune modulating drugs like tocilizumab prolonged oxygen therapy prolonged iso treatment ventilation or comorbidities like organ transplant or malignancy are the main cause of mucormycosis infection early diagnosis and treatment are key to improving outcomes of for patients with covid-19 associated mucormycosis clinicians should consider the possibility of mucormycosis in patients with severe covid-19 even when patients lack classical risk factors for this disease let's try to understand our body fight back against fungus our immune system protects us from many different kinds of microbial foreign invaders without our immune system we are extremely vulnerable to infection and diseases immune system composed of innate and adaptive immune response the cells involved in killing pathogens during the innate immune response are often phagocytic cells which include neutrophils eosinophils macrophages natural killer cells and others phagocytosis by neutrophils is a strong defense against most fungus they can engulf the problematic cells and then either release its antigen into the extracellular fluid or further detection or present the foreign antigen on their cell membrane to alert other cells in the immune system mechanisms of this system provides cytokine production complement activation and using physical barriers although the innate immune system is not able to form any cellular memory the path of the pathogen it is able to respond quickly to infection within minutes or hours adaptive immune response is a slower process that results from the combined efforts of lymphocytes called t cells and b cells and natural killer cells they work together to specifically detect and mark a pathogen as a threat using specialized antibodies they then amplify the response and destroy the invader adaptive immune system is able to form a lasting memory of the pathogen by saving specialized memory t and b cells in the blood and lymph nodes is chiang 2016 describe the mechanism of immune response to the fungus fungus usually infect the host cell by epithelial or endothelial cells invading both the mucosal and endothelial surface cells in both the innate and adaptive wings of the immune system are activated by fungal infection which subsequently generate different antifungal effectors upon the initial fungal infection innate immune cells including macrophages neutrophils and dendritic cells release cytokines such as interleukin 12 uh, interleukin 10 and interleukin 18 cellular players in the adaptive immune response then secrete various cytokines against fungal infection in adaptive system t helper cells like t, uh, t helper 1 t helper 17 and t helper 2 uh, has cells can fight back fungus t helper cell 1 produce interferon gamma and tumor necrosis factor alpha t helper cell 2 cell produce interleukin 4 and interleukin 5 t helper cell 17 cells generate interleukin 17 and interleukin 22 and regulatory t cells produce transforming growth factor beta tgf beta and interleukin 10 b cells also secrete antibodies to target fungal pathogens all of these mechanisms fail in immunocompromised patients like hiv cancer and covid patients 
In conclusion, we may say that fungal diseases are major causes of morbidity and mortality among the immunocompromised, including HIV-infected individuals and patients with cancer and COVID-19. In individuals without a weakened immune system can also suffer from these infections. It may be possible that disproportionate or inadequate innate and adaptive immune response can diminish the host's capacity to eliminate the fungi. In contrast to bacterial and viral infections, an effective vaccine against fungal infection has not been developed and currently available antifungal drugs are only partly successful in treating patients with invasive fungal infections. Immunological and genetic studies indicate a crucial role of human immune defects in fungal infections. Therefore, identification of appropriate prophylactic and immunotherapeutic targets has been considered the most promising strategy to overcome morbidity and mortality. A clearer understanding of how the host immune response tackles fungal infection may provide useful clues as to how we might develop new agents to treat those diseases in the future. Thank you.